What's going on everybody? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. We're gonna play a game of Diagnosis Murder. It's not for my lawn, because we know why my lawn is dead. I did it myself. No, it's my brother-in-law's house. Um, not the one I did the renovation for last year, but my other brother-in-law. He called me yesterday saying that his lawn, his backyard started dying and he wasn't sure why. Um, but I always say this to anybody who ever asks me for an opinion or advice or something, it's like, I'm not a professional. Take what I say with a grain of salt. You know, I'll do my best. You know, and I know some stuff, you know, I know obvious things like check for grubs and all this kind of thing, but I am not a professional. And so the way he described it is that he had, it had been a while since he had fertilized his lawn. And so he had a leftover bag of like Scott's Turf Builder fertilizer and he thought maybe he burned it because he put it down heavy. There's a chance he could have burned it. But then he said this one thing, which is I think gonna give it away for you all, and this is where I'm leaning. He's like, it started in one area and it has spread. So my mind immediately went to the big thing this year. It seems like at least everywhere, or not a lot, but it seems like a lot of folks are dealing with this is army worms. Okay, so this is the brother-in-law's house. Normally a really nice lawn, it is fescue. Most of the time it looks fantastic, really well manicured as you can see, it looks really good. But then you look, there's some areas here, they're starting to brown up a little bit, where it starts, you start to get nervous, is right there. Because like I said, he said he fertilized yesterday or the other day, I don't know if it was yesterday or not, but he fertilized, and yeah, it's the Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed, and so it's like 28% nitrogen or something like that. It covers 5,000 square feet, but it wasn't the full bag, but then he did do a full bag on his backyard and his front yard. So he's like, well, did I burn it? And I said, well, if you applied it too much, the whole yard would be burnt, which it's not, and not just certain areas. So you have that area right there, and then you have, boom, devastation. But it also follows this line pretty darn clean. But then, now, like I said, I don't know anything. I'm not an expert, but that definitive line there concerns me a little bit. And I, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's fertilizer burn because then you have right there where you also fertilized, it's completely green and not fine, but it's green, and then you have dead. So I don't know, I don't think it's fertilizer burn is what I'm saying. Now we did just get like a torrential downpour of like an inch in like 30 minutes, 45 minutes or something. Like it rained hard. So it's soppy here. So this is not the best test, but I'm gonna go right here where it's still green and it starts to transition into this dead stuff because you have the whole backyard there too dead. Everything is dead. Um, I'm gonna do the pull test. See what happens. It comes up. But I mean, if you do an actual pull test and you get a good chunk of it, it doesn't. It's just me ripping it. I'm not gonna try to like recreate all pest and lawn ginger stuff because when he said spread, like I said, you all thought it too. My camera is not liking the focus right now, but you all thought it too. I'm gonna get down deep and see if I'm right. So I found this. It's a. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, to be honest. I don't know if it's sod wood, like a, a cocoon or whatever it is. Like I said, I don't know anything. I don't know. I, I feel stupid because I don't really quite know what it's called, but you can see it's moving. I don't know how well you can see that, but you can kind of see right here, bite marks. There we are. Mr. Army Worm. So just as I predicted, when he said spread, and I know army worms, sod web worms, like those are everywhere these days, like right now. Um, he even has more spots over there 
that I'm pretty sure there's some right here too, that it could be these very, this very same thing. Look at that, it's gone. Total backyard annihilation. So what I tell him to do? Well, I told him to go ahead, go right now to Home Depot and get a bag of BioAdvanced, I think it's BioAdvanced Grub Killer, I think is what it's called, and it kills in 24 hours. I said, don't get Grub X, because Grub X is a season long control. You want something that's gonna kill now. So get the stuff that says 24 hours, BioAdvanced, and you throw that stuff down at the curative rate of like, it's like two and a half or three pounds per thousand. I don't quite remember what it is, but um, and even on the bag, it says it treats sod worms and army worms. So I say, go get that, put it down now, water it in, and get this stuff taken care of. I said, he also takes care of his neighbor's house over here. He does the aeration overseed every year and some fertilizer and stuff. And I said, go ahead. Shoot, I don't know, I'm gonna show it you here. But here in front of his fence, it's already starting to turn brown. I said, you know, your backyard's dead. Now there are times where people have like their lawn has been destroyed, but the neighbor's houses are fine and don't get it. So I don't know how all that works, but I said, just in case, go ahead and put some down at your neighbor's house. Get that stuff down now, water that in, and pray. I realized I never hit record on sort of the most important part of this video, and it's how do you know if you have an army worm infestation? Well, the most telltale sign is do you have a dead area of your lawn that is starting to spread? Army worms move quick, so you need to find this out really swiftly uh, to get ahead of the problem. Um, he called, or he noticed, I think he said on Sunday afternoon, an area of his lawn that started to die. He thought it was fertilizer burn. And then by Tuesday afternoon, more than half of his backyard was dead. By this evening, when I went to the house and filmed this video, 100% of his backyard was gone and they started to spread to the front lawn. So that's why I recommend that he go to Home Depot and get that bag of BioAdvanced 24 hour grub killer plus. Um, yes, there are more uh, professional chemicals that you could put down on the lawn, but in a situation like this where you have an active infestation of your lawn and you don't already have those uh, more professional products uh, on hand, going to the big box store, grabbing a bag of something and putting it down your lawn then is sometimes the best option. Now, if you do notice these dead areas that are starting to spread, the best thing to do is actually get down to the soil and see for yourself. Don't just buy products and hope that it you know, cures the problem because uh, that's not the right way to do it. Get down to the soil, move some grass blades around because army worms sit at the surface of the soil. They're not like grubs that go underneath the soil and eat the roots. Army worms eat the actual grass blades themselves. And sometimes, like I saw in his backyard, you can actually see some on the grass blades actively eating. A lot of times you'll just see them laying curled up on the soil just uh, below the canopy. But if you see those, you obviously have army worms. The next sign that he noticed when he was mowing either on Saturday or Sunday is moths. If you're mowing and moths are just coming out of your grass, you have some sort of insect problem, more than likely army worms. I'm glad I figured it out. Uh, you know, that's a good thing to always test. Don't just assume like you thought, oh, I just, oh, I just burned my lawn. I said, that's not, that doesn't sound right. We did a pull test. We got down, got our hands dirty. My camera's dirty now to figure out in the mud and figure out what's going on. We found the worms. We found chewed up grass blades. So I'm glad we got all that figured out. Now he can go ahead and treat it and hopefully get this stuff taken care of before it gets any worse. But anyway, I hope you all found something valuable in this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It does make a huge difference on the growth of the channel. It will get, you know, the engagement is what helps make YouTube realize and start spreading it out to a larger audience. So please give it a thumbs up if you found this uh, useful. And anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.